Welcome back. We're talking about something called hyperhidrosis, but it can be better explained as simply saying having excessive sweating. In tonight's Check Your Health report, Mary Nichols shows us why surgery for this condition was the answer for one Utah teen. Imagine running your hands under a sink and like kind of going like this like once and that's how they always were. Haley Bennett is an aspiring actress and performer, but she's had to deal with hyperhidrosis for as long as she can remember. And then going to school, writing on things, there would be wet marks, reading books, I couldn't hold anything that wasn't like absorbent. Over the years, Haley tried several non-invasive options, but none of them worked. When the excessive sweating started to affect her career goals, she decided surgery was the best option. Clearly had severe hyperhidrosis. She can hold her hands up like this and literally within a minute the sweat will start running off of her hands. Surgeon John Mitchell performed the procedure on Haley. He says this condition isn't as uncommon as you may think. About 2 to 3 percent of the population has hyperhidrosis. Doctors have pinpointed a pair of nerves running down the sides of the spine that are responsible for the sweating. Dr. Mitchell says those nerves are the focus of the surgery. So what we do is enter into each chest cavity on each side and divide that nerve. The entire surgery takes about 45 minutes, and the results Dr. Mitchell has seen have been life-changing. It was just immediate. Right when I woke up, there was absolutely no sweat. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health. <laughs> Dr. Mitchell says a potential risk with this surgery is if the cut on the nerve is too high, nerves in the face can be affected. For some patients, the surgery can also lead to additional sweating of the chest and the back.